environmental science. It's a merit badge I think every scout should get and not just because it's required for Eagle. Enhancing our youth's competitive edge through merit badges. I feel every scout should get the environmental science merit badge. Not only is it Eagle required, but it's a great introduction to taking care of our environment. I feel that it gets the scouts a good start on appreciating the land that we as scouts love and want to use. Let's take a look at the requirements. Requirement number one wants you to make a timeline of the history of environmental science. And don't forget to include the outdoor code. It was first published in 1954. In requirement number two, you will learn the meaning of several terms, such as ecosystem, community, extinction, conservation, biosphere, and give us a thumbs up if you pronounce the word niche. Or give this video a thumbs down if you pronounce it niche. Requirement number three reads, do one activity from each of the following categories. Ecology, air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, endangered species, pollution prevention, resource recovery, and conservation, and pollination. Let's take a closer look at those, starting with ecology. Conduct an experiment to find out how living things respond to changes in the environment. Conduct an experiment illustrating the greenhouse effect. Discuss what is an ecosystem. Air pollution. Perform an experiment to test for particulates that contribute to air pollution. Record the trips taken in the family car for seven days. Or explain what is acid rain. Water pollution. Conduct an experiment to show how living things react to thermal pollution. Conduct an experiment to identify the methods that could be used to mediate or reduce the effects of an oil spill. Describe the impact of a waterborne pollutant on an aquatic community. Land pollution. Conduct an experiment to illustrate soil erosion by water. Perform an experiment to determine the effects of an oil spill on land, or photograph an area affected by erosion. Endangered species. Do research on one endangered species found in your state. Do research on one species that is endangered or threatened, but has now recovered. Or Identify two projects to improve the habitat for a threatened or endangered species. Pollution prevention, resource recovery, and conservation. Look around your home and determine 10 ways your family can help reduce pollution. Determine 10 ways to conserve resources or use resources more efficiently. Or Perform an experiment on packaging materials to find out which ones are biodegradable. Pollination. Using photographs or illustrations, point out the differences between the various bees and explain how they fit within the colony of a beehive. Present a report on how and why honeybees are used for pollination. Or three, if you're not allergic to bees and have access to a hive, hive a swarm or divide at least one colony of honeybees. Number four reads, choose two outdoor study areas that are very different from one another, i.e. hilltop versus bottom of the hill field versus forest, swamp versus dry land. For both study areas, do one of the following. Mark off a plot of four square yards in each study area and count the number of species found there. 
estimate how much space is occupied by each plant species and the type and number of non-plant species you find. And write a report about it. Make at least three visits to each of the two study areas for a total of six visits. Staying for at least 20 minutes each time to observe the living and non-living parts of the ecosystem. Space the visits far enough apart that there are readily apparent differences in the observation. Keep a journal that includes the differences you observe. Then write a short report about it. For requirement number five, you're going to look at a construction project and identify the items that would need to be included in an environmental impact statement for the project. Requirement number six wants you to find out about three career fields within environmental science. You'll pick one, learn about it, and have a discussion with your counselor as to why that field might interest you as a profession. Most summer camps offer the Environmental Science Merit Badge. I encourage all my scouts to get the Environmental Science Merit Badge at summer camp as it just seems to be the most convenient place in order to complete requirement number four or doing the observations. I recommend you get pick up the Scout Handbook or the Merit Badge Handbook as it has the examples for your construction project and it has the information needed to complete the experiments for requirement number three. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Environmental Science Merit Badge. Please subscribe and remember, we'll scout you in.